Welcome to a brand new series of content for the Criminal Connection podcast channel. We're going to be bringing you the Podfathers top 10 in a variety of categories. We're going to be doing the top 10 gangster films. We're going to be doing the top 10 crime documentaries. We're going to do the top 10 serial killers. Any ideas that you'd like me to have a top 10 of, make sure you hit us up in the comments and we will make your wishes come true. Today, I think we should start off the top 10 Rise of the Foot Soldier moments. So as you all know, there's been six movies in the Rise of the Foot Soldier franchise. But yeah, my top 10 Foot Soldier moments. Kicking off with number 10 in the first Rise of the Foot Soldier movie, there was a character called Jimmy G. And uh, obviously we were looking for him because we wanted to like terrorize him basically. And we uh, were in front of his dad's house. I'm sure you remember the scene, but um, he's obviously from Wales, so he's a bit Welsh. <laughs> and we walked up to him, um, knocked on the door and his dad came out and he goes, oh, hello, you know, how can I help you? And we grabbed hold of him, he goes, where's Jimmy G? Well, and then we found him on the floor bashed him up and then as we're walking off I don't know this wasn't in the script but I just started going meh, meh, meh. <laughs> it was just the funniest thing ever and the director sort of come over to me and he goes that was fucking genius so that is my 10th foot soldier funny memorable moment in at number nine there was a scene in the first rise of the foot soldier where we're in the Range Rover we're obviously going to our deaths, but we don't know we're going to our deaths. And in the back is Billy Murray, who played Mickey Steele, uh, Pat Tate, aka Craig Fairbrass, in the back as well. Roland's driving, and I'm obviously in the passenger seat. Now, as we're driving along, I think the line was, what's the long range weather forecast looking like, Mick? And before we started doing the thing, I don't know whether somebody farted or burped. I think it was probably me, right? And action. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone just started laughing because it was like late because all that stuff was shot between 10 at night and 10 in the morning so you know when you're sort of on a film set at 10 o'clock at night or, or two o'clock in the morning you're tired and because you're so serious right at the end of the film we're all going to get murdered and this is really serious and then like for some reason every time i said what's the weather <laughs> not wait for weather forecast everyone started laughing and action so what's the long range forecast? <laughs> and then Billy just kept saying, oh, Terry's up. <laughs> Sorry, Terry's up. Sorry. Let's go again. <laughs> and uh, there's a really great clip on YouTube, which I share with you all. Um, so you can just watch that behind the scenes moment. If you haven't seen it, it's very funny. In at number eight, there was a scene, again, in the original Rise of the Foot Soldier film, when Pat Tate has been shot by Jimmy G. He's in hospital, he's in bandages. Um, there's a, a lady of the night that's naked, and I think we're all sniffing cocaine off of her tits. And Neil Maskell, who played Darren Nichols, comes in, and uh, I just remember that was his first day on the film set, and he just walked in, and he was just like, what the f <laughs> I walked into here. Um, that was actually, uh, you know, probably one of the funniest uh, moments of that film. So in at number seven, Pat Tate's story, Rise of the Foot Soldier number three, there was a really funny scene when I was in a pub with, with Pat and we were talking about doing these guys. And he said, he said, Tone, he goes, these people are dangerous. And I look at him and I go, I'm a f maniac. <laughs> And I don't even know why I did it. It wasn't even the script, but it was just one of them things that people do come up to me regularly and say, I'm a maniac. So that was a, 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 a fun moment. It wasn't really a memorable moment, but it was a funny line. So what I'm going to do on number seven is I'm going to give you some little funny moments from the Pat Tate story. So that was one of the funny moments. The other funny moments was there's a guy um, that we, we're going to basically do. We sneak into his house and he's basically got this girl on top of him and he's having sex with her and then we just grab him around the neck and start strangling him <laughs> and I think I say something like here's Tony and then we throw him for a window right so that was another uh, little piece but like quite a funny moment and then I think the funniest moment and this really is so there's three 
in in the seventh one. But the funniest moment was when Pat came out of jail, and we was in his club, and uh, we had the um, well-known star Emma Butt, and uh, she pranked Roland with um, big dildo, which we tried to get him to sniff cocaine off of, which he basically refused. That was actually not in the film, but uh, obviously if it had been the film, I think it would have been one of the most talked about scenes ever. But if you want to hear the full story, if you go on to the Criminal Connection podcast and listen to the Roland Manukian episode, um, if you want to find out more, make sure you head over to that one. In at number six, we then go to Rise of the Foot Soldier Marbella. I mean, that was littered with funny. And I think one of the funniest scenes, one of the most iconic scenes in that film was that camper van scene and the whole Amsterdam thing. If you've never been to Amsterdam, there's these like windows with girls in. So they're basically like houses. And, and, and we obviously went in one. There wasn't obviously girls of the night. These were actresses because we were acting. We went in and uh, there was a scene where Craig Rolfe is having sex with this girl and then Tony Tuck's having sex with this other girl. And when I was doing it, I was just looking at him going, ah, ah, ah. and he goes to me, he goes, stop looking at me, Tony. <laughs> it was just so stupid and like crazy, the whole thing. And then we was like walking around Amsterdam, everywhere you went, you had this smell of weed and everyone was sort of stoned. When we stole that camper van, the actual journey going from Amsterdam to Marbella in that camper van with Iffy Klaus, we were smoking, we were, I mean, taking all sorts of pills and potions. It was just the most insane thing I think I've ever done. I mean, there wasn't really a script for it. So, so a lot of the stuff that we were doing in the camp fan was all just improvised and us just about. When, when we actually do get to Marbella and we get out and then we, we say to uh, Pat, you know, just gonna have an ice cream. And we, we end up in this like, restaurant because we give him the bag with the money in. But obviously, if he has stolen the money, we've been like rolled over. And then when Craig goes, do you know what this is? It's an onion. <laughs> it makes me laugh. That was that was definitely the, the the sixth. Halfway there with number five is also Marbella. The funny fifth moment is um, when Emily Wyatt, towards the end of the movie, comes up to the car and basically we're we're about and we're saying, oh, you know, jump in the car. And she's trying out the door and then we sort of drive off. And then the car stops, and then we're going to worry about it. And then she comes running up to the car, and then I just drop the trousers and mood it at Charlotte, you know, who's, who plays Emily White in the film. And uh, again, that wasn't in the script, but it was actually quite funny. And, you know, lots of people have um, said that maybe I should put myself in for a pack, crack, and sack, because apparently I've got a hairy ass. In at number four, and this was again uh, in Rise of Foot Soldier number three, the Pat Tate story when they go out and uh, they're getting on it basically. They're doing all this gear and uh, and then Pat turns around to Josh and goes, or, or Kenny as he's known in the film, he goes, he goes one prostitute, two prostitutes, three prostitutes and they're like just doing gear and then it's just one of the funniest things and that is for me, and again, that was an improvised saying, you know, it wasn't scripted, it was just them sniffing gear on a table talking about the job and, you know, going out and getting some birds. And then Craig obviously improvised the one prostitute and it's on the Queen's head and all this. And again, you know, that was probably funniest scenes um, in that Rise of the Foot Soldier 3. Coming in at number three. So in Rise of the Foot Soldier Origins, there's a scene where Tony Tucker goes up to the door of the club that he used to run with Craig Roll from Bernard Mahoney's on the door. And uh, he's basically just, he said he's been a nuisance. And then uh, Bernie comes out and just hits him and knocks him out. We just thought it'd be quite good to see how low Tony Tucker had fell. And um, when we did the rehearsal, again, this isn't in the film, but we will share a clip, because I actually recorded on my phone, where there's, when you get knocked over on a film and you land on the concrete, there's normally like a, a crash mat. So you don't actually hurt yourself. So this idiot that was meant to be the stunt coordinator didn't put the crash mat in. So when he hit me and I fell over, I like bounced along the f***ing uh, Lucy Road in South End on my ass. And it was actually painful. I 
And I remember like everyone going, are you all right, you all right? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And I've got up like that, but it did hurt. So um, yeah, but that's all for the art, right? The second funniest scene, going right back to Rise of the Foot Soldier, the original one, when uh, Ricky Arnett, who's, who plays Carmen Leach in the film, they're in a club, he takes an ecstasy tablet, and he's walking about like this, and he's talking to his mate, and he goes, those damn pills are And he goes, right. And he goes, I don't know what all the fuss is about. And then all of a sudden it hits him. And he's going, do you know what? You're like my brother. I fucking love you. Now I'm gonna dance. And then he just goes off. And, and I think, again, anybody who's, who's actually lived that and been out partying, will, will re that resonates with so many people. And so many people talk about that scene. And in at number one, a lot of you will have seen this video, right? So, and the video was me, Pat and Craig sat in the Range Rover and we was in between scenes. And uh, we, we put on that, uh, baby, let me love you for the night. We called it Range Rover karaoke, right? So <laughs> we were like, James Corden, it's all about the Range Rover karaoke. And then we started singing along and then uh, Craig Fairbus in the back, he's obviously sniffing coke, which wasn't real. We was all just singing, cheese, you Cheesy, 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 che 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 and that was actually inspired by the very first film where Pat Tate is off his nut with some bird and she wants a pizza. He ring, rings up the, she rings up the pizza joint and says, oh, hello, can I have this pizza? Can I have this cheese? And he goes, I'm sorry, you know, we, we can't put any additional cheese on the pizza. And then Pat's sitting there going, All right, and then he goes, give me the phone. And he goes, it's cheesy. Put it on a pizza, or I'll come down there and open you up. And then the geezer sort of says to him, I'm sorry, sir, you know, this, this phone line's only available for people over the age of 18, and put the phone down on him. And then, and this actually happened in real life. Pat Tate went into the pizza parlor in South End with a pizza cutter and carved the geezer up. That part of the scene wasn't funny, right? But the actual video that came out of that scene, and I think if you talk to anybody, People always talk about cheese. They always go, and, and you know, I don't know when they're talking about cheese if they mean something else or whether they mean cheese on a pizza or cheese on something else. Or because in, in that video that went viral, I think it was five million views, he was sniffing Coke and then we started singing cheese. So I don't know whether people think that we're referring to Coke as cheese. I really don't know, but cheese, you can't. That's, that's why it's the number one um, foot soldier moment because I think everybody, I mean, I actually do have people, you know, sometimes drive past in cars and I just hear cheese, and I just sort of like that. So that is definitely probably one of the most uh, iconic scenes and one of the uh, most iconic videos. I don't think there's ever been a foot soldier video that we've done behind the scenes or actually, you know, clip from the film that's got that many views. So that was the Podfather's top 10 Rise of the Foot Soldier moments. Make sure you put some of your favorite foot soldier moments in the comments. I've shared mine with you, but feel free to share yours with us. You never know, we might actually do a Rise of the Foot Soldier number one, top 10, Rise of the Foot Soldier number two, top 10, and we just walk through every single uh, Foot Soldier movie and do the same thing. So I hope you're all looking forward to season two. We've had an absolute blast filming it. Um, we've got so many amazing guests to share with you, so many great stories, some people that have never, ever been on a podcast before. We've got the exclusives here at the Criminal Connection podcast and we are making it happen. So make sure you tell your friends, make sure you subscribe, like, and share our channel and get involved in the comments, people.